Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to Little Sula YouTube channel. So today in this video, we will see about one of the listener that we use in JMeter and this is the main and the major and this is the basic listener which we use in JMeter and that is view results tree. So how to add this view results tree into the third group? So right click on click on the third group, I mean select the third group which we want and then right click on it, go to add and then choose listener and then choose view results tree which is on the first option. So just click on view results tree and automatically the view results tree will be added to the script or to the thread group. And let's now see how to use the thread group and what are all the various advantages and how to use it effectively. So before that, let us, I have two steps in the script, which is two HTTP requests and I will execute them and we'll you check how to use, use this view results tree, the script today. So I'm running it, the scripting, the execution is completed and here we can see the request, the request is displayed here. This is the request body and then we have the response data which tells us what about the response it has displayed and then the response headers and this comes as the text option and in fact if we want to search anything we can search in the resp if in case if I want to search the J session ID so you can just go ahead here and just when I click on find I can find wherever the J session ID is in the script so this will help us to find whether the response is valid or not and then even we can use the regular expression here so for example if I'm using J session ID is equal to dot star question mark and then when I click on find so automatically even you can find that here so the next option we have here is the regular expression tester in case if we want to find any any regular expressions here in the response so anything that we use under the second option which is the regular expression tester is the response of the page and it's not the request say for example if we have the J session ID here and in case if we want to filter anything or if we want to correlate so for that purpose we can use this as an example and let us search let me give the regular expression so this is the regular expression which I'm going to search now and when I click on test so automatically we can see here there are 14 match counts with different set of values so this is how we can use the regular expression tester and in case if we want to find any unique value so what we can do is we can filter it out here say for example if I want to just filter this J session ID value in here I can just choose the entire left boundary and I can give it here and then I am adding the regular expression which is dot star question mark is the one which will choose everything that is in between this right boundary and the left boundary is going to be a double quote so anything which comes inside will be taken here so here we can see that we have got the value which we wanted to fetch from the regular expression so this is how we can use the regular expression tester and then we have the boundary exact extractor tester so as we have tested previously so we will try this time with a new example so let's move on to the category ID here and we will choose this as the left boundary and in the right boundary we will choose the double quotes and the bracket and when we click on test this will show us different values so anything which comes inside between the left boundary and the right boundary we get this in case if we want to still filter out we can add a few more in the left boundary and right boundary to make sure the values are unique so here we can see so in this way we can use this to use uh, use them as a left boundary and right boundary for the correlation so here we can see any value that comes in between these values are selected are, are displayed in the left boundary values and then let's move on to the next one which is the CSS selector tester so for the CSS selector tester we can have we can try that with multiple 
multiple options but now i will just go through one option so for the for example for the selector is going to be input and the attribute is going to be value and when we click on test so we can see these values in here and let's now search these values let us search these values in here in fact we can go to the text option and you can search the value in the response data and find it here so this is how we have got so the value the input and the value is the one that we are getting here and in case if we want to try with different values we can try for example the input type so let us try let's try and see how whether it comes so we'll try as input and type let's so here we can see so these are the four input types we have used in here so same way we can try with many different formats in the test so this is going to be the input is the selector and the attribute is type in case if we want to try with different options we can try them for example let's try with div and style and here we can see multiple options were there and if in case if you want to try with div id so here we can see so these are the various div ids we have in this script so in the same way if i'm going to choose for any of the image and source so here we can see so these are the image source which we are using it in the script so this is how we can track or we can test multiple values and different values in the response so same way we have different options like the json path tester where we can give a json path expression and we can find the results in here and then we have the xpath2 tester where we can give the xpath query and when we click on test automatically we get the values in here and then we have the json jm jms path tester so this is something like the j jx expression where we can give the expression and when we click on test automatically we get the values so let me try the add symbol so since this is not a valid one so it throws an error so let's now go to the export tester so here again we have the same option so when we give the export query and when we click on test we get the results in here so these are some of the testers we have something like the json path extractor export to a tester json jms path tester export tester and then we have the most useful which is the html and when we choose html in fact there are three options one is the html the html source formatted and the html downloader resources so the very basic thing is the html and here we can see the sampler result something like the latency the size in bytes the sent, the amount of bytes sent and then whether the transaction is passed or not through the response code so here it shows response code is 200 which means the page or the response is a valid one and then when we go to the request so here we can see the method is get and the post method is get the protocol is https this is the url of the test or the request that we have sent and when we come to the response data here we can see the basic of the page like this is how the page comes without any of the downloaded resources and when we click on response headers we can see the j session id value that is part of the response and when we move on to the next option which is the html source formatter and here we can see so this is something like a text format so something similar to a text format but it's quite a html option and then when we move on to the html download resources so here we can see so this is the request which is the https request and when we come to the response so here we can see the page of the response which we have recorded or which we have received as the response so this is how the page displays and this if in case if we want to find anything we can just use it to search and then we have the document option so this is something like 
the option where we can just see the basic data in the document format and then we have the JSON format so everywhere the request is same but the response is different so this will shows as the different formats of how the application will be displayed so this is the JSON format and then we have finally the XML format so in under the XML format we can see the HTML is under this format and then we have the hash head which contains a link the meta the title the meta and again a lot of metadata which is inside the HTML and then we have the body which contains different div tags so even we can use these div tags to use for the CSS selectors so that we can easily track them so these are the various formats of the response which we can find it using the results tree so the basic thing which we will have to use is the text then the regular expression tester and then the HTML so in case if we want to see the exact data of the page or exact appearance of the page we can use the HTML download resources and we can see how does the page looks so I think this video would have been very useful to you if you have any queries or doubts please come to the comment section I believe you would have subscribed to our little side YouTube channel if you have not subscribed yet please do subscribe to our channel like comment and question your feedback in the comment section until we meet you in another interesting video it's over from us in Shanmugam and Little Slaw.